Hey, this is Research Indicates. Buy my soda crackers. Uh, here we go. Let's play. Continue. Alright, first things first. Let's build us a plane. Gonna try something different here. First things first. Let's clean out all the stuff that we don't want or need. Now look at that. The default configuration on this was useless. Having the, well not useless, but badly designed. Having the stuff on the outer uh, wings over here gives you this very wide convergence zone, uh, which you know makes for a fairly inaccurate gun. Putting your guns uh, here in the nose has these guys firing straight forward rather than converging in this big triangle like this. That gives you far better accuracy on this particular plane, and only this plane. Uh, it's worth mentioning. Uh, so, here we go. Uh, the, look at interestingly enough, the stock version of this thing does not have. Uh, the nitrous. So we're going to bump it all the way up to the top tier with the nitrous. It's going to make this a little speed demon. And the nose, we're going to stick a 50 cal. And we are very nearly out of weight already. Uh, so let's try one hard point. Let's try... Oh! 65 versus 66. I don't think I'm going to be able to wrestle up 110 pounds out of this so that's pretty much gonna be that uh, so let's just bump up the armor a little bit wow that's quite a bit of armor actually well good I mean I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some troublesome folks 30 50 45 yeah sure that makes sense uh let's go with what we had on the uh, the other setup over there that looked pretty good I thought White with some black, some gray. No, that doesn't look good. Uh, what what looks good? White and black and and red. Red looks good. Let's try a little bit of a little bit of red on there. Oh, red on the propeller tip. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I like that. I like that a little bit. Um, okay, so throw some stuff on there. You'll see why I picked white and red for this one, because this is a mission of mercy, actually. Since it's a mission of mercy, maybe I should make this red as well. Check me out, I'm, the, I'm a regular regular red cross. That looks pretty cool. That's uh, suitably, suitably medical. Do any of these look like a cross? No, but that looks like Betty Page, so that's good enough. Uh, pirate things, wings... Uh, okay, great. This is actually, as you can see, not a terribly good plane. In fact, it's a fairly bad idea. Having one hard point and one gun, and it's a really, really nice engine. So, we'll see how this works. However, the thing that we need to keep in mind... I'll finish this in a minute. We just picked up a distress call from a Red Cross hospital ship. From what we can figure, they were on their way to rescue a shot down Zeppelin, a passenger liner, here, when they came under attack by pirates themselves. It's that new gang we keep hearing about, the Black Hats. The radio call said the Black Hats are using balloons to drop small attack boats near the crash site. Boats? I don't get it, Skipper. What do these fellows want with a crashed passenger Zeppelin? Ransom. The pirates collect the passengers so they can ransom them back to their families. Sinking the hospital ship is probably just an insurance policy so they aren't followed when they leave. There's no payoff here, but I'm going out to help those poor saps anyway. Anyone with me? Why should we get involved, boss? We don't know those people from Adam. Actually, we do. The crashed Zeppelin is the workers' voyage. If we hadn't destroyed her fighter escort, they might not have gotten into this fix. Oh. This mission is strictly voluntary. No shares. No pay. Anyone who doesn't want to go can stay behind. No hard feelings. It's your call. Well, well, sir, you can count me in. Me too, boss. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, you got I'm right there with you, boss. All right, then. Let's go. So there you go. Nathan Zachary is just a regular swell guy, isn't he? Okay, so here we go. Uh, there's my blood hawk. Bad idea. I'll change that to explosive, obviously. Black 
look at all these great rockets here. Now we've got Fassenbender acting as our like mobile research facility. We keep getting new options, but honestly, I don't want to use any of these because they uh, become much more useful in multiplayer than anything else. Why they gave me the Balmoral as the default, I cannot imagine. Uh, but it's fairly obvious what we're going to do here because I have only one hard, hard point and I am a nearly defenseless little airplane. Our buddy is going to be in our, uh, our murder plane here, which uh, we all know is quite effective. So, uh, that's going to be that. I need to look into what one of you mentioned earlier, and that was the, uh, uh, the Balmoral loaded up with turrets. I kind of liked the sound of that, but let us see what happens here. I suppose it's worth mentioning uh, that the last time I tried this, the uh, brigand was shot down pretty quickly, so I'm gonna, gonna try to keep an eye on my wingmates a little bit better this time around. Uh, but things are definitely ramping up. Uh, most of the enemies in this mission are Furies, and uh, that can get a little tricky. are still in Pacifica or something. This is Hospital Ship Compassion. We're under attack from hostile air and sea forces. Mayday! Mayday! Attention, Compassion. This is Nathan Zachary of the Fortune Hunters. We are here to assist. Thanks a million, Fortune Hunters! We have enemy patrol boats attacking us! Oh boy, we're good boy of sick of hit. Reporting moderate damage on decks 1 and 2. Give them hell, Fortune Hunters! Hmm. Okie doke. I'll zip back around, whoops. <laughs> Fuck here! I sent that one to the Preacher, over! Hear Attack that brigand balloon. just annihilating stuff. Being carried by balloons? That's right. I think I've seen everything now. It sure looks that way. Let's take out those balloons before they can launch those boats in the water. Careful, you got them all hot and bothered. Ha ha ha! That sucks. Oh, that sucks for you, buddy. The fires just dove out of the clouds. Hey, you. This is a black hat claim. Beat it. Says who? Says me. Hey, fix it. And since when are hospital ships legitimate claims? Black hats are breaking to attack. Watch it. That's live fire. Boy, oh boy, a 50 cal is much more useful than this little guy. I've almost got this one thing. Okay. Here we go, this black ant's got a brigand, so that's gonna be trouble. You know what, I may have mistaken something. I thought these guys were all in Furies. Is that all the better you can do? On your right, bogey at 3 o'clock. Now the trouble... With this particular plane, is that it's so damn fast you overshoot everything you sh everything you're trying to kill. Watch that defensive fire. What? Just gotta lead your targets. Okay, I'm throttling entirely back, and I'm still faster. Fuck that. On your right, bogey at three o'clock. Oh boy. All right, let's swing back around. What's this? A bad guy. Back around. If there's one thing I hate in the world, it's a white hat pirate. You're gonna hate me even more after I'm through with you. Another wave of black hats coming in, and they're headed straight for the hospital ship. This could get ugly, Cap. We gotta do something quick. Straight ahead, bogey at 12 o'clock. On your right, bogey at 3 o'clock low. Below you, bandit at 12 o'clock low. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You bandit at 12 o'clock! On your left, bogey 
at 9 o'clock. Watch out, bogey, 6 o'clock low. I missed. Okay, I'm gonna throttle back so I don't do that again. Here we go. Properly led target. Okay. Pandora over there providing fire and support. Whoa, 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 whoa. This isn't over, Zachary. Next time, I'll nail your wings to a wall. Watch that defensive fire. Damn wingman stole my you kill. Did. You got him off! On behalf of the entire crew of the Compassion, our deepest thanks. You fortune hunters are real heroes. I wouldn't go that far. You have a safe voyage back to shore. Zachariah. Mm, I think there's a stunt here. Uh oh. You're a real barnstormer. Oh Jesus. Oh, I'm glad I waited till the end to do that. Completely failed an Immel in there. Okay, let's loop back around, get back on board. And there we go. This is a fun little plane when you use it correctly. Got a, a scrunchy faced lady who seems to uh, have appreciated our efforts. That's always nice. Pirates fight over hospital ship. This is gonna uh, uh, break down what just happened. Blah, 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 blah. Russian born pirate. All right, so let's check that out. The Black Swan is a Russian. Good to know. Well, there we go. Okay, uh, black hats get a black eye, blah, 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 blah. Well, black hats are a bunch of jerks anyway. And, uh-oh, uh where's Blake during this conflagration? So once again, Blake is getting into trouble, even though this really had nothing to do with him at all. Why is me going through the thing and crashing into some kind of invisible wall or whatever? Look at this. Oh, this is pathetic. I shot down three brigands. Last time I had five brigands plus the ace, but that's the trouble with... Building a uh, a very effective wingman plane is that they often take your kills. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Now it's time for a cutscene. world-famous aviation securities pioneer. After Blake Aviation failed to protect Boeing from two damaging pirate attacks last week, rival security company Sacred Trust was given Blake's old job. Jackson Mead, president of Sacred Trust, said the Americas will always respect Paladin Blake. But Blake Aviation's many recent failures to protect their clients from pirates prove that they have neglected to grow at the times. The people of the Americas deserve protection. They deserve Sacred Trust. Deepline Burbank, nation of Hollywood. Millionaire Howard Hughes takes off in his latest aeroplane in an attempt to beat Wiley Post's around the world speed record. And while Hughes' head is in the clouds, Hollywood producer and businessman extraordinaire Johnny Johnson holds down the board, running all aspects of Hughes Aircraft Company and Colossal Studios. Hollywood is a modern country, self-sufficient with her own state-of-the-art air militia, flying in the latest airplanes designed and built right here. No, we aren't susceptible to pirate lowlife like other nations. We are safe. 
Deep line, London, England. Nebul Chamberlain becomes new prime minister in... Johnny Johnson, you've been a pompous ass since the day I met you on Wall Street. Well, it's time I took you down a notch or two. Safe? Oh, we've seen you that. How exciting. Time to deal with a personal grudge. Well, let's take a look at the plane of the day, and then, uh, with any luck, we'll see what happens next time when we head down to Hollywood, what used to be California. Let's see what happens. Today, we're looking at the Northrop F-5 A and B Freedom Fighter and the F-5 E and F Tiger II. More commonly known as simply the F-5, is one of the most widely used jet fighter designs in world history. The F-5 started life as a privately funded project by Northrop in the 50s and it entered production in the 60s. By 1972, over 800 F-5s had been built. The USAF had no need for such a machine, but did use the F-5 as the airframe basis for the T-38 Talon, which would become a stock USAF trainer aircraft for years to come. In particular, the stock F-5, due to its profile and flight characteristics being rather similar to the Soviet MiG-21, was often used in an Op-4 role during training to show pilots what they could expect to come up against should they wind up fighting Soviets or Soviet allies. The second generation F-5E Tiger II was also mass-produced, with just over 1,400 models produced when production ended in 1987. Once again, the USAF had no particular need for a light fighter, though it would enter limited use in training and Op-4 roles. So, if all these planes were produced, and it's one of the most widely used jets in the world, and if we weren't flying the damn things, who was? Our allies. With a production cost of just a smidge over two million a plane, this baby could be shipped out en masse to just about everybody who wanted one and could reasonably claim they were buddies with the U.S. at the time. The F-5 and all its many variants has over time served with the air forces of Austria, Bahrain, Botswana, Brazil, Canada, Chile, Ethiopia, Greece, Honduras, Indonesia, Iran, Jordan, Kenya, Malaysia, Mexico, Morocco, the Netherlands, Norway, the Philippines, the Republic of China, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, South Korea, South Vietnam, Spain, Switzerland, Thailand, Tunisia, Turkey, Venezuela, and Yemen. In later years, the basic design of the F-5 would be used to produce the twin-tailed YF-17 and the F-A-18 series of carrier-based fighter aircraft. It's a workhorse design that, while not game-changing, filled out a lot of air forces over the years that would otherwise have been sparsely populated. The F-5 has also been part of the testing process to determine the next generation of fighter aircraft, and it's appropriate that the Freedom Fighter should be involved. 